Okay, here we go. So we are going to be talking about product confidence, how to get confident in your product knowledge. Tonight is all about skincare and foundation. So we're going to be teaching you the basics and how to create a recipe for healthy skin. This is gonna be good for you, but this is also great if you sell product because then you're gonna feel confident about the product, especially, well, regardless if you're holding appointments, but you probably have a mom and a sister and a best friend who washes their face and they wanna look cute too. So you have um, confidence in what we, what we offer so you can be selling just as you do life. And then you can fill up your roll-up bag in confidence. So everybody understands this roll-up bag is our bread and butter. This will make you tons of money because you can fill up the four packets. And um, when you're holding those appointments, your guests can get those for free or for half price. But the purpose, which I wanted to show you the new bag, because I feel like the new bag is super sleek, super cute. These are $35 regularly. So our price is $17.50. Um, and then there's four compacts, four little packets here. So then the first packet should be your skincare. Okay. And so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, and the other great thing is if you carry this around or carry one around, doesn't necessarily have to be yours. You could do seasonal roll-up bags and literally you could take this with you everywhere you go and you can show people different things for the season uh, like in the pocket. So for instance, you might do a summertime themed product roll-up bag. Uh, and so you might have a little skincare in the first compact, and then you might have like the summer items. So new summer colors, maybe the after sun gel, things like that. So we are going to try to hit every product without crushing your brain. So you can understand what our products do. We're not talking ingredients because to me that blows my mind. I don't wanna know about that. I wanna know what the product does. <laughs> can I get a hallelujah for one of those things? Okay, so um, before we jump in, I am gonna, let me share my screen. And we're gonna do just a little bit of information on how our, our company really um, sets our products apart. So I want to share, can you guys see this? Yeah, are we good? Okay, okay, cool. So I love sharing, uh, well, first of all, thank you, Julina, for sending me some of this awesome stuff. Have you noticed we've upped our game with some of our slideshows? So I wanted to share with you guys um, this slide, sorry. And, and we're going to watch a, a quick video, but here's the thing about Mary Kay. We have our over 1400 patents on our products. A patent means that like nobody else can take it. Like we have that product to ourselves. Um, that's awesome to have 1400 of those. We also do not uh, test products on animals. When you buy products from Mary Kay or when your customers buy from you, they're supporting, uh, cancer research that affects women and domestic violence prevention. We have a zero landfill policy. So we actually have been able to plant over a million trees with our recycle program. And we also manufacture 99% of our products in the United States. You guys, if we tell people this, they can get behind our company. And if people are behind a company, then they always find something that they love. And so once they know all these cool, great fun, amazing facts that Mary Kay uh, allows us to share and allows us to give back to the community, then they fall in love with the product even more when they try it. So it's really important for us to know that we have amazing products, okay, because we do. And I want to share with you this quick video, and then we'll jump right in. I am so proud of this company's innovation and how we continue to lead in advancing the science of beauty. Our simple yet effective product philosophy is one of the many reasons why I love coming to work each day. We're constantly striving to provide you with the best in beauty and skincare. As a brand, there are things we always do. We carefully screen every ingredient 
If we can't verify its safety, we're not going to use it. We spend millions of dollars and conduct hundreds of thousands of tests every year. Clinical studies with independent dermatologists, ophthalmologists, and other medical experts. We test to ensure product safety, quality, and performance. We actively investigate and monitor issues related to product safety and take action based on scientific fact. We always go above and beyond. We prohibit more than 1,300 ingredients banned worldwide to meet our high standards of product safety. When it comes to product safety, we always put you first. Our goal is to ensure that you and your customers continue to love our products for years to come. For more information, please visit Product Central on Mary Kay in Touch. FYI, that is a shareable video that you can pull right off of InTouch and you can do those in your virtuals. We look super awesome when we do that. Okay, we're gonna jump in. So we're gonna first transfer over to Miss Renee. Renee, hey girl, we're going to uh, talk to you about what product? Um, the Timeways line. So I wanted to share with you if you are, because we're going to fill up our roll-up bag, we're talking about our first pocket of our roll-up bag. So this is like where you're going to keep your skincare, um, everything that you need for your skin to be healthy and happy. So that's what we're talking about, the first bag. So Amanda and I are going to talk about some different skincare lines, but I'm going to start with my favorite, which is our number one in Mary Kay, I think is our natural, our, our Miracle Set 3D. And um, this is the skincare line I currently use as well. And I use my, in the normal to dry formula. Um, so this comes in two different formulas. Um, it comes in combo oily and then normal dry. So the difference between the two is that the combo oily helps remove excess oils, which, you know, if you're oily skin, you're going to want that. And if you're normal dry, it's going to help soothe your skin while it cleanses. Um, I used to be so scared of exfoliating because I didn't understand the benefits of it. And I'm so thankful because like I started using Mary Kay six years ago again, like, and I just, it was crazy how much my skin, um, improved and, and, um, just brightened and lightened and my cheeks used to be really red and flushed and I could never put anything on cause it was so dry. So it's helped balance out the dryness of my skin. Um, and I consistently use it twice a day on my good days. Um, so you can use your, your skincare line twice a day. Um, and just the difference is just your moisturizer. So you always start with your cleanser, which is that big old bottle. Okay. And then what basically is in this is four different steps in one. It used to be four steps when Mary Kay started and now it's one bottle. So you just cleanse your face, wash it off, and then you do your moisturizer. Now, depending on the time of day, um, Nighttime, you're going to use the night cream, which we call it Sphinx for your face because it does have some antioxidants in it and um, helps lift and firm your skin as you sleep. So it's going to help protect and restore some of that things that you lost throughout the day. So it's really important to wash your face at night to wash off your day. Um, and just really preps your skin for a good night of sleep and healing your skin. Okay. Then the day cream um, has SPF 30 in it. So it's really great because I am not a sunscreen wearer, but now that my sunscreen is in my moisturizer, I wear it every day. And you guys know sun, sun can burn and age your skin. So it has the SPF skin protect, protect against the different kinds of burns that you can get from the sun. Um, and it lasts for 12 hours. So 12 hour, 12 hour. That's why you rotate between the two different moisturizers. Um, I don't have it sitting out with me tonight, but they actually brought back the old time-wise moisturizer, which you can wear day and night. The difference is not a, it's not a cream, it's a moisturizer. So it's a little bit more lightweight. Um, some people who like a lighter weight moisturizer can opt for that, or they can have both. They can have both options if they're like kind of wanting to go between the two. Um, I always give that option to people because I have some old, yeah, it's a, it's a bigger bottle. It's part of the, um, I don't want to call it old, but it's part of the retired skincare line. Mary Kay had, um, had been around for 20 years. So they brought back the moisturizer because it was really popular. Um, the last step of your 3D set is your eye cream and you put it on day and night at nighttime. You can slather that on your eyelid everywhere. I kind of put it in between my eyebrows sometimes, just anywhere in that area that's really delicate. Um, this is your first place you're so aging. So it's going to help with your fine lines and wrinkles. It's also going to help with discoloration. Um, so if you're don't sleep like me, it's really great. Um, makes me feel like I slept. Um, so you always put that on at the end, um, day and night. And then there's an extra step, which makes it part of that time-wise 
microdermid plush set. It's um, it makes it part of that big line. The the microderm is a scrub and a pore minimizer. So the scrub, um, you can actually go to a dermatologist and get the same treatment done. It helps excess or fluff off dead skin. So it's gonna help clear your pores out. It's gonna make your pores less, look less deep and it's gonna refine the edges of them. So they're not gonna be so stand out when you put on your makeup. I don't know if you guys notice, like when you put on your makeup and your pores look really big, you probably need a scrub. Also, if you're having like really red cheeks, um, if you feel like your skin has um, when you put on your makeup, like different parts of your makeup soak in differently, you probably need an extra exfoliator um, so that your makeup can go on more evenly. Um, and the pore minimizer is great because it acts like a cooling. It cools down your skin after you scrub. It also helps soften the edges of your pores so it can help your pores look smaller because you can only grow your pores. You can't shrink them. So you can also keep them and maintain them by using these two things. Um, and I think... That's all I wanted to say. I, I think the 3Ds you guys know um, about Mary Kay, the Time Waste 3D line is a delays. Um, so it does have the age defying benefits and then 11 age defying benefits. It defends, it helps fight against the free radicals. So it has antioxidants in it, which is really exciting um, to help kind of defend against whatever crap is out there. I love to use that word. And the last one is um, it delivers. And so most skincare, if you're going to start it, it's going to take about six weeks for you to notice it to actually make a difference and to start a routine. But this line has started to show difference in about four weeks. And that's why they said it's kind of a little bit different. It's a powerhouse um, step or a system. And if you consistently use it, you will be happy with your face. Um, okay, I'm going to pop over here so you guys can see some pictures. So, okay, so the Miracle Set 3D is this line. And then the Miracle Set, Set Plus is this line plus the Microdermabrasion Set, which is what Renee was just talking about. And um, I wanted to show you pictures. So this is, uh, this woman is just on the eyes. So you guys can see a difference in her eyes. And this is after two applications, like OMG. So what I'm going to do is drop these pictures in our Facebook group and I'll put them under some sort of, um, topics tag. So you guys can go pick them up, but it'll be probably like product confident course pictures. So you guys can now use these at your virtual appointments or, <clears throat> you know, sending out pictures if you want to, you know, show people pictures. Uh, these are also amazing results. Now this upper right hand one, you guys, these are from the book. So you can totally just show people things like this in the book, but these are before and afters. So you guys can see a difference. Um, some of them say time frame. So this is just a difference between three and a half weeks. And then lastly, I love this picture. I show it all the time. This is two weeks of use on the left hand side here. And the thing about the new Miracle Set 3D is that brightening agent. So this has really upped the game of this new system because it now brightens. Remember the old set was uh, three in one, this is now four in one and that includes that 3D complex. So, and then over here, this is amazing, you guys. So this is a difference between 10 years. She looks younger 10 years later, like, ah, that's so awesome. So <clears throat> that is the Miracle Set 3D. Sorry, I'm trying to remove yuck, girl. Okay, and now I'm gonna come over and talk to you. So if you have questions, you guys just jot them down, okay? Um, and we will answer questions at the end, okay? Or we might have like a, a, a break in the middle. So the signature anti-aging line is going to be the Miracle Set 3D. If you have somebody who says, hey, I just want something simple, but I want anti-aging, that's going to be the line for her. Okay. It's three steps in the morning, three steps at night. But then, and quite frankly, I sell this repair line by using the Miracle Set 3D line. Okay. So everything that Renee talked about, I sell, I upsell to the repair line because they see how good the Miracle Set 3D is. And because I do a, a lot of times just half face. So they wash their whole face, draw a line down the middle, pretend, just do one side with day, night, and eye cream, and then they compare. And when I started doing that, that was the first year I hit um, 
court of sales. And ever since then, I've, I've hit court of sales. And that's because my skincare went up in selling. And so when they see that, I then show them the miracle set on steroids is what I call this. And it's really called the TimeWise re, re, Repair the Volume Firm Set. So anything in the purple is like extra good. It's, our, it's the best stuff that we have. And it's really geared towards women who have drier skin. Anybody can use it, but women with drier skin love it. And women who have more moderate to severe aging. So if she says, I have deep wrinkles, I have a lot of sun damage. She's a smoker. She's been in the sun a lot. She's going to love this. Um, or anybody who wants to prevent the aging process, like they want to use the best of the best. Okay. So this comes with a cleanser. This is a foaming cleanser. So if you have somebody who says, I like foaming, I want like a foamy cleanser. She's going to love this. Then it comes with a lifting serum. So this system goes four steps in the morning, four steps at night. Okay. So it's an additional step. And the additional step is this lifting serum. So it's called advanced. This has also been updated recently. It's called uh, the advanced lifting serum. And it's been explained as great for your whole face because it tightens and firms and lifts up the skin, but it's been geared towards this triangular area. Okay. So this is where a lot of women say, I'm getting kind of loose right? Or jowzy is what people will say. And so it's geared to tighten this portion up, but it's almost a triple whammy. So it's for firming the skin, evening out the skin tone, uh, and preventing and helping with sun damage. So it helps to even out redness and darkness. Then we have a day cream and a night cream. And our day cream um, has SPF 30. These are pretty cool because I don't know if you can see these, but there's a little um, circle here. And you pump this and one pump is going to come out of this circle and it's going to cover your entire face and neck. Okay. And then the night cream has time released retinol. Okay. So retinol is the proven ingredient to turn back the time of age. And this is time release. So a little bit is released while she's sleeping. Okay. Again, it pumps just like the other one. And then the eye cream is called, this is our Cadillac eye cream. Okay, if you like Cadillac, you're going to like this one. This is the one I use. And it's the Volume Firm Eye Renewal Cream. It has a metal applicator, and that helps to reduce inflammation. It helps with fine lines, dark circles, and deep wrinkles. Okay, so we roll that all the way around our eyes um, day and night. If we do it in the day, uh, we don't put it on the eyelids if we're wearing eye makeup. Okay, so it's a cleanser lifting cream. This is the thing you want closest to your face after you wash a day cream or night cream, and then the eye cream. Okay. So that is people love it when they hear about miracle set on steroids. Okay. So the stronger version and, uh, anything in the purple is like the most advanced anti-aging. Now we also have two other products that are in this, well, there's more than two now, but we're going to talk about two tonight. And one of them is the, uh, I'm sorry, the facial peel, the revealing radiance facial peel. I'm seeing if there's a bigger picture, but it's right here. Okay. Revealing radiance facial peel. And this is something that we can add into any skincare line. If we want to have a chemical peel. Okay. So it has glycolic acid, which to me sounds scary, like ah, chemical, uh, and glycolic acid, like what is that doing to our skin? But this actually is totally safe for our skin. It is, it is exactly like going to get a chemical peel, but with no downtime, no redness, no burning. And so what it does is it re removes with a chemical glycolic acid, three layers of dead skin, dead skin needs to be removed. And the more it's removed, the less fine lines we have, the less uh, sun damage we see. So that dead skin gets sloughed off and then we have fresher skin that can be absorbed or can come to the surface. And so that's something that you can recommend somebody doing like twice a week, especially if she has scarring, she has a lot of sun damage. This is something I always tell people, you know, we don't go and get our teeth cleaned at the dentist and not brush our teeth every day. 
So we want to make sure we're using good skincare first, and then we can throw in these, these types of supplements. The other product in this line is called a deep wrinkle filler. And I don't see it on here, but it, I have it right here. No, I don't, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. It has a pointy edge and it is something that also has time release retinol. So it looks like this. Okay. It has like a pointy edge. So when you open that up, it comes to a little point and it's going to be for the deeper wrinkles. So after we wash your face and um, before we do anything else, you would apply the deep wrinkle filler. Okay. So you would fill it in like literally take it in the line, pat it in. We don't rub. If we rub, we rub it right out. So we want to just pat it in and it immediately softens out the deep wrinkle. And then over time, it helps, helps reduce it. So oftentimes I'll open one of those up for demo. And if I'm at a party, I will fill in my uh, line on one of my hands and show them how to pat it in. And you can immediately see it soften out that deeper, that line in your hand. Okay. You can do those at on the go appointments as well. That's an easy way to show people product. Okay, girl, we're heading back over. Oh, wait, nope, I gotta show you some pictures, hang on. Okay, so these are pictures of our repair line. This is the same woman, top and bottom. One is just a little closer than the other. This is after 90 days on the upper right-hand side. And then this is the, uh, like the two pictures right here on the left. So this is between, this is four days and then two weeks. So you can see a big difference in two weeks and then look at her in 90 days, 60 days and then 90 days. And then this is her with some makeup. Okay, and then this is my other, I love showing this one on the left. These are sales directors or sales directors customers. So these are legitimate people. I will never show pictures that I know. I don't know where they come from. Um, so this is a month difference, day and night. And then this uh, picture over here on the right is a difference between four weeks and then six weeks later. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, Renee, take it back over. We're on to... A new line. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I yawned really bad. Okay, so I love this line because I actually like to do um, a demo. Or I like to do time ways, and then we talk about different skin cares and skincare lines. And I always talk about naturally. I am not like a <laughs> a natural person. I eat McDonald's. Okay. So I don't really care too much, but I've also started to really like the older I've gotten, like maybe I should care a little bit about what goes on my face. And then I drink water. So anyway, I love this stuff because it is basically a hundred percent naturally derived ingredients. Um, and we don't just say it because in, <laughs> in USA, they can have one natural ingredient and smack, smack a label on it. Um, so Mary Kay, um, paired with a European company to get an eco cert. I think I said that right. Um, basically they came in a third party organization that Mary Kay could not like pay or whatever to say. They came in to evaluate the naturally line and they gave it its stamp of approval. So it's actually naturally derived ingredients. And so I will tell you the ingredients on this one, because I think it's kind of cool to hear the ingredients and what they do on your skin. Um, because you might have that customer who's like, I just want something that doesn't have, I mean, all of our products are safe. All of our products are tested. We saw that video at the beginning, but some people are a little bit more picky about their ingredients. And so this is very, um, it's very good for those kind of people. And to know like just basic ingredients is really important for those people. Um, and don't be scared because I am not a science person at all. <laughs> so I just kind of like, I practice saying it and that's basically the best way you can get into like saying these, these things that work for the naturally line. So um, the, it, it's four steps. You don't have to do all four steps. Basically it's a cleanser and a moisturizer, just like all the other lines. Um, but there's some fun little things that go in it. And so it is, doesn't come as a set. It comes in four individual pieces because it can be customizable to what you're wanting for your skin. Um, so the cleanser 
Oh, so first of all, it's it's free of um, SLES, SES, dyes, synthetic fragrances, um, any sort of thing that's going to make it not natural, okay? And silicone, mineral oils, things like that. Um, that's basically, it's just a naturally, naturally found skincare line. So you start by using a cleanser. Um, it, it kind of feels like a moisturizer when you put it on your skin. So they say to use a cotton round. Um, I, I know we just got those new cotton rounds with our, um, our waters. If you guys ordered those in, you can use those too. It's going to help, um, get the extra, um, dead skin off your face. It doesn't really have an exfoliator in it. So that cotton round is going to help grab some of that dirt and oil, um, and extra things off your skin. So you're going to do that. You're going to wash your face with this. Basically it uses corn flour for water, which is very, very, um, moisturizing for your skin. Um, and it only, this is the only, uh, of the skincare line that only has the only non-natural, like it's 0.05%, um, non-natural ingredients that helps hold the product together. Basically that's the only, it's the cleanser. Okay. And then you can just use the moisturizing stick, which has, um, I think I say this right. Candelil wax. See, it doesn't matter. You don't need to sound super smart, uh, but it has some, some sort of wax and it has beeswax. And so both of those things have emollient, which is a really hydrating um, moisturizer. It helps protect that and lock in moisture on your skin and also helps protect, okay? It helps protect your skin and lock in that moisture. Um, and it's a, basically a stick. And I actually use one of these as a chapstick as well. Um, you can actually use it on different parts of your body. Um, but if you use it on different parts, maybe you have two. Um, don't use it on your, on your feet and then lip on your lips, but you know, that's your thing. So, um, now in between, you can do these two extra steps There's a, it has, um, we have a powder. It literally looks like baking soda, I think. And it feels like baking powder it has kind of that like, gritty feel to it. Um, and this one is basically just castor oil, which that I hear induces labor, but I don't think you're supposed to eat this stuff. And it has citric acid. Um, and so that acid is going to help exfoliate that dead skin off your face. Um, and so you can use it by putting a pile in your hand and adding water and making like a paste and then just scrubbing your skin off and washing it off. Um, or you can mix it with the oil, which is really cool because if you're more of a dry or sensitive, you might want to mix it with the oil because it kind of leaves your face more dry if you use it without the oil, but it's really up to you what you want to do with it. Um, so the oil basically comes with a little dropper. It's kind of fun. Um, the oil is just um, sweet almond oil. It has some other oils in it. Um, it's very hydrating oils. Um, if you're an oily person, you can definitely still use this oil. It's not going to uh, disrupt your balance of oils. It's actually going to help um, kind of balance out the oils in your skin. And so your face is not going to need to do as much work to replenish the oils. So you're giving yourself good oils. So the bad oils that go away kind of thing. Um, but you're going to have to do it's a consistency is the most important thing of any skincare line. It's the consistency of using it, um, seeing how it's affecting your skin and not just trying it one time and saying it doesn't work. Um, so that's that. So you always cleanse, you can kind of see what you want to put on the in between. Um, and then you do the moisturizing stick at the end. Okay. Um, now there was, make sure I said everything. I think I said everything. Um, oh, the, the oil. So I actually use the oil on more than just my face. Um, I've used it on my hair. I use it on my eyebrows. Sometimes I have really dry skin underneath my eyebrows. So anywhere that's there, I like to use it there. Um, on your belly when you're pregnant. So anything that's going to be extra hydrating, um, and it smells really good too. So I love the oil just because to have it around. And I also use it on my son's. He had some pretty bad cradle cap. And so I use it on his scalp um, as a newborn. And I also use the extra emollient cream, by the way. So those are some, that's the naturally line. So hope you learned something. Yes. Okay, let's do a share. Um, that oil is really good for anything. So beard oil, peels all that jazz. Um, what we have found, so Mary Kay did not create the naturally line to fix acne or as for anti-aging, but we have found that it's helping with both. Okay. So if you have a customer or you struggle with maybe a little acne and you do want to do some anti-aging, um, and you're wanting to maybe try this line, I would encourage you as new products come out to try things for a couple of weeks and see if you like it. 
Um, but you can see before and after here, she, this is one time using the Mary Kay Naturally skincare line. Like what in the world? I and then this, see anything, Amanda, can you guys see? Oh, I'm no, sorry. I can't see. <laughs> to share my screen. <laughs> there we go. Now, can you see? What the heck? Oh, I think I got to remove you. Now. Hold on. Oh. Now, can you see? Okay. So this is a difference of one application. And then this is a difference of two days, seven days, and 11 days. So if you see anybody who has um, acne, and you know, some of that acne, it has to be inspired by maybe, you know, ingredients. So if she needs to use more naturally tight derived products, this might, you know, she might just be sensitive to something in an ingredient and in a product. This is the line that is not created in the United States. Uh, Renee, did you talk about that? I didn't listen about, you did about how it's created in France. I didn't say where it was created, but I said they worked with a third party in Europe to get it. So, yeah. Okay. So that means that it's eco certified. And if you have an all natural girl, like a for real deal, I want completely natural, you'll, you know, the greenie girls and you tell her it's eco certified, she's going to be super impressed, super duper impressed. Cause that's a really hard stamp to get on a product. Okay. You know, there's like half greens, like just a little green, like light green, but then there's dark green girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. The next line or the, yeah, the next product line we're going to talk about is our botanical effects. And, um, there's actually two botanical lines. And so I'm going to give you a little background on that for years and years and years. This was called the basic line. Okay. So if you meet people that tried Mary Kay years ago, they're going to be like, yeah, just give me the basic line. Okay. The basic line is what Mary Kay started on 59 years ago. Okay. And really that's all we had to sell back then was five pieces, a cleanser, a moisturizer, a mask, a freshener, and a foundation. And people, that's all that we really had. And so it was, it looked like this. I mean, it's been updated over the years. And so this is our botanical effects line. Okay. And this kind of went away not too long ago. And so it looks like this, and it's great for the woman who just wants simple, super simple. She just wants basic skincare. There is a cleanser. There is a mask. There is a freshener. There's a moisturizer. And so when they reformulated, they came out with the, the new Mary Kay Botanical Effects, which you guys, this is awesome. It's for all skin types, normal, dry, combo, oily, and it smells amazing. It has dragon fruit extract in it, which I'm going to get into this in just a minute. Um, but some women really preferred this. Okay. So probably like 60, 70, 80, 90 year old women these are the women that this is what they started on. This is what they love. You know, those women who just love what they love. And so Mary Kay brought back this line, but only in the dry and the normal formula. So there used to be a dry, which is always pink, a normal formula, which is always green. And then there was an oily, which was purple. But when they re brought it back, there's just the dry, just the normal. Okay. So those are the two popular sets. And so Let's talk about this line first, so you um, can understand what it is. I gotta pull my notes up here real quick. Okay, so this line has a cleanser. Okay, so this has no anti-aging in it. It is great for women who just want super simple skincare, um, and it also has a mask, okay? So the mask is like the white mud mask, okay? So if you have somebody that says, hey, I need that white mud, you know, the mud mask, the white one, that's what they're talking about. And all of this comes in either dry or normal formula. And then there's a toner. And so the mask they would use twice a week, 
the toner we use after we cleanse and it's a spray toner so that they spray it on like a cotton round and then they go over their face and it removes residue from the skin. It removes dirt, oils, free radicals. Toners basically help balance out the pH of the skin. Okay. It can also help tighten up the appearance of pores by removing oil, helps with traces of dirt, um, dead skin cells, things like that. So that's what a toner does. And then there's also a moisturizer. So again, it's all based on a normal or a dry formula. Okay. Do, I mean, uh, really fast on the toner to clarify is the toner for the dry and the normal made differently or is it, it is. Okay. So it's yeah. made more for dry skin. Okay. Yep. So everything will be customized to the skin type. So it'll always be pink always stands for dry in Mary Kay. Purple always stands for per, uh, oily in Mary Kay, combo to oily. And then green's like the neutral. Okay. So green is in this system or this set is for normal skin. But yes, the tone of the mask, the freshener, bright, uh, all of that is in that particular formula. Okay, well, when they um, came out with the new botanical effects, a lot of women love this. So this is great for young skin. Okay, so if you have somebody who is like, I wanna do something with my daughter. I just went out and did something, a mother daughter on Monday. And this would be the place for her to start. So if they're eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, this is, this is where we're going to start them. It's all priced really well. So if she's on a tight budget, this is great. Plus we don't need our 12 year old using our time mice 3d yet. Right. So when they're 20 ish, that's when we transition things over. If you have somebody who has super sensitive skin, then the botanical line is probably the place to start. And now we have the, the naturally line. So that's also another place to go if, um, if this doesn't work or maybe she wants to try the naturally line before she tries this. Okay, so those are two options now that we have. And so this also comes with a cleanser. And this whole set, the pink one, has dragon fruit in it, which is a super fruit. And that helps to fight free radicals. So we should be fighting free radicals um, as soon as we can, you know, free radicals, there's just stuff in the air that causes cancer. It's called the bad guys. Um, it also has aloe in it, which helps to maintain the moisture barrier. So it helps to keep the hydration in the toners. We've talked about what that does, but this particular toner in this line has something called witch hazel in it, which is kind of like an astringent and it helps to, um, without drying or feeling fight or feeling tight, it helps control shine and leaves the skin like looking healthy and refreshed. So kind of like, um, you know, just like a, a toner that removes the residue on your skin. Okay. Then there's a sugar scrub, which is what this happens to be. And this is exfoliating the dead skin cells and the dull skin. So it makes the, the pores get cleaned out and it helps to make the skin look smoother, okay? And it kind of awakens up the skin. So any scrubby like this can be used like twice a week, okay? So both formulas are available. A lot of people just don't know about this one anymore, but if they're longtime Mary Kay users, that's probably what she's gonna love. And then this is the new botanical effects line with the dragon fruit and the, and the aloe. Anybody have questions about that? I kind of mixed those two together. Okay, Renee, back to you. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay, so, oh man, I forgot. Oh, here it is. You do have a line behind you. Okay, the clear proof line is what I'm going to talk about. I have the cleanser and the moisturizer here show you. Um, so <clears throat> the clear proof acne system, um, this is something that's very foreign to me. I'm thankful. I've never struggled with acne. So I've had to learn a lot about how to help my customers. Um, and the guys, the basic thing is when you have somebody who's opposite skin of you is ask questions, ask them questions, ask people who have similar. So like, I know people who use the acne line. I ask them questions all the time and don't feel like you're bothering them because we're actually helping teach. And when I teach you about my skin, you're helping each other, like learn how to help your 
your customers. So I've asked questions about the fear proof line over and over again. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit more familiar uh, territory with this line. Um, so basically the two ingredients that you want to look for is sal salicylic acid and benzyl peroxide or benzyl peroxide. Yes. Those two ingredients are going to help fight acne and prevent acne. So those things are really important to have in any, um, age or any, um, acne finding skincare line. And so, um, the acne line, the clear proof line, it's a cleanser, um, a toner and a moisturizer. Um, we also have a spot treatment. So the spot treatment is not something you have to do every single day. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what each one does. So you're going to wash your face with our, the cleanser. This does have that salicylic acid in it and it acts like an exfoliator to remove your dead skin. And so if you have, if you struggle with acne, um, part of that could be like clogged pores. So like that, that salicylic acid is going to go in and clean out those, those dead skin buildup in your pores. Um, it's going to help attack that and kind of clean out that part of your face. Um, now, if you're somebody who's like brand new to this line and you're wanting to start using it, or you have a customer who wants to start using it, but they've never used any sort of acne fighting ingredients is don't let them use it twice a day. Like it suggests, let them use it once a day, or maybe once every other day to start to work their skin into it. Cause it can be kind of drying, especially if it's their, it's new ingredients. Um, cause it does work. It just don't, don't scare your skin. Okay. Give it some time to adjust to this because it does work. It just has to pull the crap out first before it can start to work and attack that. So they may have a breakout. They may have those little things show up and that's okay. It's not a bad thing when your skin has reaction. Um, as long as they're not burning and hiving up, you know, like I think those are some signs, but it's like, I had a breakout. That's not always a bad thing for your customer. It's actually a good thing. It means you're, you have an active ingredient doing something for their skin. And that's good. So you cleanse and then you use the toner and the toner, like Amanda said, is going to help, um, refresh in, get that extra makeup residue left. Cause sometimes your cleansers don't get that extra makeup unless you start getting, using the micellar water because that stuff is awesome. Um, so yeah, you use the toner next. Um, now somebody like the toner can be extra drying as well. So that's why you want to make sure you use the moisturizer. You always moisturize, especially if you have oily skin. I know you probably don't want to use a moisturizer, but moisturizers are so important for the, the, the oils in your face. And so, um, I don't think this has salicylic acid in it. Um, it's just a, it's an oil free moisturizer. So it's really nice. It's gentle. It's lightweight and it goes on really nicely. It helps moisturize your skin. Um, now we do have that acne treatment gel. It's a smaller bottle. Um, it's, we call our zit zapper. Okay. Remember that zit zapper. So you literally just spot treatment. You add it to, a, you dab it directly on a breakout and leave it. So, um, if you're really dry, like me, make sure you get it just on the acne because, <laughs> uh, it can cause dryness around the area. So, um, that I use extra emollient cream around it to help add uh, moisture back in. So that's a little tip. If you ever have a zit and you're dry, like me is zit zapper. And then the next day put the extra emollient around. So, um, I also love the charcoal mask. I, um, that's part of our acne line is the char deep cleansing charcoal mask. And so it's called activated charcoal because when it gets put on your skin, it opens up and pulls stuff out of your pores and into the mask. And so when you wash off the mask, the, the charcoal is going to hold on to that dirt and grime, whatever's on your face and wash it off. Um, I, I like to do this mask with my dad and my brothers, um, because men love this mask too. My husband, he has not done this one with me yet, but I'm going to get him someday. Um, now the Poor purifying serum. I actually learned this from Julina. I love that. She said to use something after you open your pores up, use something that's going to be power packed to get that extra dirt out, which I never, I guess I didn't really think too much about because I, I'm just, this is kind of new to me. Um, but using that poor purifying serum after your charcoal mask is going to help kind of go in and clean out leftovers and residue of your skin as well, or in your pores as well. Um, that also has salicylic acid in it. So it's going to help fight acne. Um, it's going to be really strong for that. So um, the serum is, goes on and then your moisturizer always goes at the end. So cleanse mask. I forget. Do you use toner after the mask? I always like get those mixed up. You cleanse, yes. mask, toner, moisturize. Yes. Okay. There you go, guys. That's the clear proof line. Yes. And these are amazing pictures. Check this one out. So this is two days. I'm not sure what this one is. Seven days. 
And I love that some of these are small go kits. You can get a small, like when I know right now that they are out, you know, but you can get little travel size in all of the lines, except the botanicals and the naturally line. Okay. The final skincare line we're going to talk about is our men's line. And it is Father's Day coming up and graduation. So this might be a little something that you can be pulling together for your men in your life. And this is a great little picture so you could send them so they'll know exactly how to do it. Um, but our men's line is um, geared towards men skin. Okay. Their skin is physically, physiologically different than women's skin. So it helps to wash away the grit and the grime. It's tough on oil, but it's gentle too. So it's not going to help. It's not going to dry them out. Um, it helps prepare their skin for shaving. It helps with a deeper cleanse. Cause you know, a lot of men get dirty and sweaty and oily. Um, it leaves your skin energized the, the moisturizer. So you guys are nice and big. Sorry. I need to pin me. Okay. So the, they're nice and big. And, um, the more the, this is the cleanser. Okay. So it's a daily face wash. This used to be a bar. Now it's in a, a jelly cleanse. And then the moisturizer has SPF 30. Most of our men, if you notice, and you look at couples, the men usually looks 10 to 20 years older than the woman. And that's because he does not moisturize or protect his skin. Okay. So if you can get a man to put some moisturizer on and some sunscreen on, it's going to keep him looking young. Um, it helps with the brightening also, and it controls oil. And then there's an eye cream. So same concept, cleanse, moisturize, eye cream. And this is for eyes for men. Okay. A little more tough around the under eye area. It's great for um, moisturizing and restoring younger looking skin. There's also an aftershave gel. So this is, I like this to shave with, just so you know, but it helps uh, soothe razor burn and it's a, it comes out as a foam. Okay. So it's a shave foam. And then um, there's a brand new beard oil. So this just released and this is awesome. For our men who have beards, it smells delicious. It's only $20. And um, basically, I think they realized that a lot of men were using our naturally oil, Nurshine oil, putting it in their beard. And so they created something for our men. And um, what if they have a beard? Oh, <laughs> yes, they would moisturize their skin and then put their beard oil in their beard, Renee or Juliana. Okay. So that's our men's line. Um, okay. Let's really quick. Uh, does anybody have skincare questions before we jump into the final step of skincare? Not it. Y'all get Renee had asked, um, if the naturally line can help with hormonal acne, it might, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Hormonal acne, like a lot of times we get, you know, around the time of the month or when you're pregnant or when you're coming out of pregnancy. Um, I usually use the zit zapper is what we call it, what that Renee was talking about, the acne treatment gel. And a lot of hormonal acne will be around your chin, okay, around your jawline. And so you'll know if that is a little bit of hormonal. And so that zit zapper tends to help me in just cleaning my skin very well. So with the micellar water, which Renee, do you want to talk about that real quick? Or you want me to? I oh, sorry. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So the micellar water, I love this stuff because, um, I sometimes am super lazy, but I always want to take my makeup off at night. This is not made to replace your cleanser. I want to say that over and over again, do not let your customers think that they're going to get off easy, but they need to add this in <laughs> to their routine. Um, I have a lot of moms who are very busy sports moms. Um, so I have really, Oh, I love you. Please go. 
sorry. Um, so the micellar water I love because it does have those surfactants in it that break down the oil in your skin. And it, it, that's why it's able to mix with water. Um, so you put it on a cotton round and you clean off your skin with it. And they have those, those washable ones, which I love. I'm super excited about um, uh, to use with the micellar water. And then you use your cleanser afterward. So a lot of the times um, makeup artists, anybody who tells you, if you wear a lot of makeup, you're going to need a double cleanse because your skin, your cleanser is not going to work as well without washing off the makeup first. So sometimes people even wash twice with the same cleanser, but this is going to cut down on cost because you're not going to use your nice pricey cleanser on your, on your makeup. You're going to use the micellar water to help remove the makeup there and take off the dirt. And, and then, um, the mini that comes in a miniature, I think it's like $4 or $2. I can't remember what the new price is, but you can get the little miniatures and upsell that with the big one. Um, and have them just keep it in their purse with, it, with a couple of cotton rounds. And literally, if they're wearing masks at their day job, um, have them keep it in their purse. They can take their mask, wipe off that grime, put their mask back on. And that's going to help save some of that maskiny and that some of that buildup they get from their mask um, throughout the day. So um, they can use it throughout the day on that. And then at night, just wash your face off. So um, it is suitable for sensitive skin. Um, you don't have to wash it off, but if, you're, if you have somebody who has more sensitive skin, I suggest having them wash it off because um, it does kind of leave a, I wouldn't, I can't describe the feeling. It's not like sticky, but it's like dewy. Is that the right feeling? Is that the right word I want to use? I don't feel like it's sticky, but it, I think to some people it is. Yeah. It's not sticky, but it's like a, it's, you definitely feel there's something else on your face. Mm -hmm. but I'm like really weird about that. So I like it. I, I didn't mind it being left on either. So you can kind of give that option for your people. Yeah. I think it's great for the girl who just needs to get kind of cleaned up before she runs over to Costco and before she takes the shower, you know, right. after workout day or something. So, right. okay. Jump right into foundation. Yep. So why do we call skincare or why do we call foundation skincare? Does anybody know the answer to that? Anybody? Julina, you do, Julina. Julina knows. <laughs> Why, Julina? <laughs> because it's a protective barrier. Yes, you get it. <laughs> Star for you. Okay, so we call, in Mary Kay, we call our foundations part of our skincare routine. Um, and I'm going to talk about a couple of, uh, well, a couple of things in our, in our, in our colors. Okay, so I'm going to start with our SPF 15 foundation primer. Um, and I didn't set it out. Do you have any of So our foundation primer has SPF 15 in it. Um, I love this stuff because it does um, help your foundation um, stay on longer. It acts, acts like glue, but also, yeah, there you go. We're on Julina. Oh, here we go foundation primer. So it's a clear, it's a clear formula. It goes on super smooth. I think it feels like a satin pillowcase. I, that's how I describe it when I put it on. Um, and then what I've learned is I tell my customers to wait five minutes, um, for it to sit because the primer actually has time to like adhere to your face better, um, before you put your foundation on. And that's actually something I think I learned from Lori Hogg a long time ago. So let it sit on your skin. Um, and then what it's going to do is it's going to fill in the potholes of your face. And so it's going to help your face look smoother and more even. So when you do put your foundation on, it's going to go on a lot smoother. Um, so then you put your primer on and you can use your fingers or we do have these old foundation brushes um, I, that I use to apply mine because um, I'm fancy, you know. And so I like to apply mine, leave it for five minutes and then I'm ready to put on my on my um, makeup. So the next thing is that our matte matte found our, our 3d foundations we consider them we call them 3d because they are actually made with the same ingredients age fighting ingredients as our 3d skincare line so if you have a customer who's already using that this is a seamless transition into using our foundations that are going to match really well with their skincare um so basically i wanted to show you guys a little system i have too because um, we, they used IntelliMatch, um, technology. They, they matched over 3000 different skin tones to find like the most best match for each face out there. And I will say I used to struggle with matching foundations, um, until this new line came out because it makes sense to me because of how our skin acts in the sun. So 
if you burn and you just get red and then go back to white, you are called cool. Okay. You're so cool that your skin never changes and you don't have to spend very much money on makeup because your skin tone never changes. So that makes you cool. Okay. And you're gonna have a lot of red and pink under your skin. And then you have your friends who uh, you want to steal their skin because they have the prettiest skin in the world because they always get really, really glowy and beautiful and they soak that sun right up. They turn tanner instantly. They don't really burn much. Um, those are going to be your warm people. Um, and, uh, they also change skin tones very drastically in the summertime. So those customers are going to have to come back and shop with you in the summer. So make sure you hit up those people and remind them their foundations are going to match them during the summer. Um, so you can always bump them up according to their undertone. And then you have weirdos like me who I have really red cheeks, but I also tan. So I am called a neutral. Okay. So if you're like me, when you can never find foundation that worked for you before, this is why Mary Kay came out with a specific color so they could help you match better. Um, and so neutrals basically, again, tan and they burn. And so they usually get a good burn in for the first couple of months of summer and they finally hold that tan and then they have a great tan and then it goes away and you turn white again. So that's me. Um, and I actually label them with stickers on the bottom of my foundations. If you guys literally, these are like a dollar 50 at Walmart and they're on the bottom of all of my foundations. And so I know what skin tone to put them in. I ask them, do you burn? Do you tan? Or do you do both? That's basically all I ask. And they tell me, and then I can look at their face and I know if they're beige or ivory. I don't have a lot of bronze skincare customers yet, but I'm going to, I need to understand more about that skin tone, but I do know, I, I do know ivory and I do know beige. So I can always pretty much pinpoint people by two colors. And it's basically that simple. And the scariest thing is, is starting it. Okay. And then once you've done it, it gets super easy. So, um, and then you just bump them up by their color, by their N, by their W or by their C. Okay. And they, the difference between the two formulas is the matte looks matte. Okay. It's going to help with the oil fighting. It's going to help look less shiny. A lot of people like that matte look because, um, but the, the people do like that dewy look too. So if they're super dry and they want that dewy look, they want to feel moisturized that, um, the luminous is going to fit more of them. Um, and then we talk about the liquid foundation brush and the blending brush. So these are the two brushes you can put your foundation on with. The difference is the size of head. Um, so this one has, um, kind of like a, it feels like a little ball on the end. It's kind of round. This is more made for more full coverage. So if somebody wants a full coverage foundation brush, this is the brush they're going to want to use. Um, so it puts your foundation on thicker and more full and it can get really into where you want it to get. Um, a lot of people love this brush. Um, and then this is our liquid foundation brush. This is actually my favorite because I am not a full coverage girl. I like to have a little bit of, um, my skin showing still, I'm not, I kind of like to have my freckles show through and things like that. So I like medium coverage to, and you can actually make this a full coverage too, but you just have to use it and like apply a second layer. So this has a bigger head. Um, but it, it really does a nice job blending. Um, uh, again, it's medium to full coverage. So that's just the difference between these two brushes is, is the amount of coverage you get when you use them. Now, the thing, great thing about our foundations is everything that we have in foundation is layerable. And so like, if you're somebody who wants to like layer your foundations, you would always end with a powder foundation and start with the creams, like the liquid foundations. So I sometimes layer my CC cream and then these 3D foundations to give me a more full coverage look in using those brushes. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't gunk up. It doesn't feel cakey. Um, I'm really dry. I don't feel extra dry when I use them. So I like how when you do layer Mary Kay foundations, you don't literally look like when you smile, you have cracks going down your face. Um, and then um, did I say they last for 12 hours? The, the, the 3D luminous, luminous and matte, they last, it's a 12 hour wear um, when it comes to the foundation last ability. And with that primer, it's going to extend that wear too. It's going to help that last longer. Um, and then we have our mineral powder, which is the best there is out there, apparently, according to Lori Hogg, who is a world-renowned makeup artist. Um, so our mineral powder, I didn't lock it. It has the locking system. So you don't have problems like me where you have tons of powder up in the top. Um, so it has that lock-in system where you can just lock, uh, let shake out what you need and then lock it again. Um, and then you're going to use, it's been, sorry, it's been milled five times. I think most 
powders are milled twice. I am terrified of using powder foundations because I always thought it was really drying, but I'm really excited because I'm gonna start using it every now and then to see like you can compare the difference for a dry skin. Um, because I feel like with oily skin, they like that powder that helps kind of soak up some of that oil, help that face look less shiny. So with it, if you're more of a dry skin, you're gonna like these mineral powders, but also, uh, or sorry, if you're, did I say that right, oily skin? Anyway, um, and then the brush is not huge. It's kind of small. It's really uh, packed in bristles. And so it can help pack that makeup in and make it stay in and put it, put it in its place. So that is mine. Sorry, I was muted. Um, okay, so Carrie was asking what makes those brushes, the liquid brushes, oops, sorry, um, keep the makeup from being absorbed. Do you have a great answer for that? Well, the way the bristles are made because they're not super absorbing, they're like slicker. And so the, the makeup doesn't like soak into the brush. Like a sponge, I think allows for more like makeup to soak into it because of the way that the material is made, but those, those are synthetic brushes. And so like the hairs are not super clingy or sticky if I use the right words there. Yeah, <laughs> you explain that really well. The other thing is um, using the brush cleaner after each use and then washing your brushes out um, every week or every two weeks. And I love to use the three-in-one cleansing bar to do that. So um, that's a great way to get your brushes nice and clean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the cream to powder foundations. This. This is now called our Endless Performance Cream to Powders. We've had cream to powders for years. Again, you might find the ADR girl that, lady that says, I need bisque ivory cream to powder. She knows exactly what she wants. And so there's conversion charts where you can look up and see what the new formula color would be for her. And they're now, they look like this. They're cream to powder. This is something we don't have to sample. So you can open maybe one of these. Uh, for people to try just so she can feel it. Okay. If you want to, uh, it might not be the right shade for her, but that way she can see it is a cream. And then when she uses her sponge to apply, so we can get packets, two packets of sponges, it'll go on like a powder. And this is great for the woman who wants the fullest coverage. If she um, lives in a really high humidity uh, heat, like, you know, it's heat resistant. And so she, uh, might want long lasting. She lives in hot tropical climates. She wants to be photo ready. She has a really busy day and she doesn't have time for touch-ups. If she has oily skin and she wants a matte finish, she's going to like this, or she likes how easy it is to carry. These also fit very well because they're magnetic. So they fit well into our compacts and, um, you know, she can carry this around into, in, in her compact. Um, so that is the cream to powder. And then the palette, of course, this will fit in the pro palette too. If, you know, she's using this in her bathroom. The other thing is the sheer mineral pressed powder. And that is same concept, but it's just a pressed powder. So if you have somebody who wants to set their foundation, their liquid foundation, and she wants a little color with it, then she might like the sheer mineral pressed powder. And again, it fits well in the compact. So this is not a foundation. It's not going to cover, but it's going to take a little shine away. It's just going to set her foundation. No, you don't wet the sponge before you apply the cream to powder. Great question. You just literally apply it all over. Okay. Now there is a perfect palette brush this size. And I didn't know this till I researched it today, but this is perfectly um, shaped for your fingers. And if the width is the perfect width to go straight across edge to edge. So you use um, even amount of product and you don't waste, you know, like you're not leaving product on the ends and then you brush all over your face. Okay. So this will also fit in one side of these. So you can carry these with you in your, in your compacts. Um, let's 
see. Carrie, you had a question and I didn't answer it. It says, do you put primer under your eyes also? Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. under here? Mm -hmm. I do. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Foundation primer is for anywhere that you do foundation concealer under eye corrector. It's going to be everywhere. Um, okay. The next thing I'm going to show you, we're almost to the end, is our final uh, type of foundation, which is our CC cream. You guys, this is what we talk about most of the time. This is what comes in your starter kit. This is such an easy way to let people try um, a foundation, especially if she's like, I don't wear foundation. I don't know how to do foundation. I want a natural look. She will love this. CC stands for color correction. Okay. This hat is a, basically a tinted moisturizer that has sunscreen built in it. So it has SPF 15. It's great if they want to layer up their sunscreen, um, but there's only five colors. So if you look at her and you try a light to medium and it's too white, you know it. she has to go up. And if it's too dark, you know she has to go down. So some people will do two shades per year. You know, like I'm a very light in the winter and light to medium in the summer. And then sometimes I mix just a little bit in between. But it's great for the girl who just wants kind of evening out the skin tone. Maybe she's younger. She's a teen or a tween. And mom's like, okay, she can start using something like this, but I don't really want her using foundation yet. This is a good place for her to start. The brushes are great for these. In fact, I encourage brushes because less fingers, uh, less handling, less waste. Um, and then the next thing I forgot to bring up is the translucent powder. And our translucent powder is white. So it matches all skin tones. So if you are, um, you know, I, I just don't know what shade I am, or I don't want to change colors from light, you know, in the winter to darker in the summer, then you might like the translucent powder. So it's literally white. Here we go. Okay. And it also has the lock mechanism. So you're not spilling and overusing, um, you know, wasting your product but it has a light reflector ingredients in it, just like the mineral powder does. It's milled just as fine as the mineral powder. And what that does is it means it doesn't set on top of your face. So it doesn't look and feel like you have those powders on and it reduces shine, it reduces soft lines or it softens your fine lines as well. So it makes everything appear a little bit smoother and softer. Um, this is also great for dry shampoo. So if you like, you know, get a little oily and you don't want to, you're not ready to wash your hair that day. You can dust it in there and rub it into your scalp and it disappears. You can also do that with our mineral powders, uh, foundations, if you need like a little color. Um, with those, you can use the all over brush. So this all over powder brush is great for any powders. Now the mineral powder foundation brush, the one that Renee showed you is flatter at the top. This one is rounded and more bulky. So if you're using mineral powder, you want to use the flat one because it gets deep in the bristles and it applies smoother. This is great for any um, pressed powder, loose powder, highlight bronzer. You can dust this all over, okay? And again, these are synthetic, so they aren't gonna fall out. There's no shedding on these. There's no crunchiness, so it's not scraping up your skin. And so again, Foundation doesn't seem like part of the skincare. This is probably the bulkiest um, of the trainings and it's because skincare is the most important. And so foundation wraps that up. It's a barrier. It creates a barrier between you and the skin and, and the environment. So it protects your skin. Plus if it has sunscreen in it, it's another layer of sunscreen. Um, okay, so I am, does anybody have any questions before we do our next quick thing. I do want to give one tip for brushes because you said they don't fall out. If you do have makeup fall out, your brushes are falling apart. It's probably because of how you're taking care of them. Um, if you're letting water or like anything oily get down into there, I mean, as an art teacher, this drove me nuts when people leave their brushes to dry like this because it drips down in there and it can just, it can break up the glue that holds the brush together. Okay, so when you dry them, let them lay flat over a counter or upside down. Okay, because that's going to help your brushes last. So a little tip there. Yes, thank you for sharing that. And we will be talking a little bit more about brushes during this course. So just so you guys know. Any other questions? 
Amanda, may I share something that I learned today as well? Yeah. Um, so the Meisler water, sorry, I, I'm hanging out in the dark. Um, the Meisler water, um, you can use that as well to clean out your brushes. Oh, good idea. <laughs> because it's, it's created to help break down the makeup particles and it works. I did it today. Um, after watching it, um, national sales director, Cindy Williams did a live about it today. And so I did it on my customer group and it did wonders for my brushes. So that's another way to, um, upsell with your micellar water. See, I love knowing multi-purpose things because we, we, one, we save money, right? So if we use translucent powder for our powder and our, um, dry shampoo, we're not buying two things. We're buying one thing. Um, our four in one cleanser does four things, you know? So if we can share that with people and we can save them money, they're going to be like, dang, she's, she's good. I need to keep her in my hip pocket, right? Like I need her. I need her tips. Um, those are great things we can pass on to your girlfriend too, you know, and your mom and your sister doing lives like that is awesome because you can show people the product. Um, great tip. Okay. I have a little pop quiz that we're going to do unless we have any other questions. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let's, where did I put my pop quiz? <gasps> Okay. So let's say I'm going to let you guys give us a recipe for healthy skin. Okay. <laughs> so come up with an idea of what you might suggest if somebody's told you, well, I have dry skin and I would really like some help. I have deep wrinkles. You know, when you're pre-profile and you're saying, tell me your experience with Mary Kay, tell me about your skin. Do you have any concerns? And she says, well, my skin's dry. I have deep wrinkles and a lot of sun damage. And I really would like some full coverage foundation. Uh, what would you suggest? Don't all holler at once. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about, I have dry skin with severe. My answer? Am I allowed to answer? Oh gosh, we should let them answer. Come on, guys. <laughs> With deep wrinkles and a lot of sun damage. Hey, sorry, I was trying to find the <laughs> My phone went crazy. So you're going to do the time wise repair, and you're going to, depending on, um, since they say they're more dry, I would actually recommend the Luminous Foundation. Spot on. Yay. Very good. Okay. Um, what if she says, well, I have oily skin, um, combat oily skin. I have some pop-up acne and I want a foundation that take, that doesn't give me shine. I don't like shine. I would okay. say, oh, I would no, say probably acne, the acne treatment gel. And, um, then I would recommend the, um, oh crap. I forgot. What did you, what, can you repeat it again? I have combat oily skin and I have pop-up acne. Okay. So I would have her use the time-wise 3d combo oily with the acne treatment gel. Perfect. And, and then I want a foundation that doesn't give me shine. That would be the, I think that was the, um, the matte 3D foundation. I do good? Yes, that's oh, very good. good. <laughs> Tiffany, were you going to say that or did you have another answer? Because there's not I, one right answer. I was going to say the clear proof acne system and then um, foundation, the mineral powder foundation. That could be another option. Yes. Yes. So I love, um, the clear proof line for kind of moderate to severe acne. Um, if the con if they have combo oily skin, I usually start them depending on their age, if they're 20 and above on the combo mm -hmm. oily 3d set, because a lot of times that clears up mildish pop-up acne. 
and they don't necessarily need the clear proof, but throwing in that zit zapper is really a great tool. But mineral powder is a great option too. Um, Amanda, I actually have um, used the clear proof alongside of the Time Waste 3D set, and that is always um, an option as well. I actually use the full clear proof set and I use um, the full Time Waste set too because I actually like to do a second cleanse. Yes. Um, so, really, it just a lot of there, I would be asking more questions on like how severe their pop up acne is and um, that kind of thing too. Um, and then with the foundations, the mineral powder or the cream to powder is really good too. Um, and again, you're going to want to ask a lot of questions though, especially with your acne prone people, unfortunately. Hey, Jessica, I have a question for you because that's very yes. interesting. So do, when you do the clear proof and the combo together, do you rotate day and night or do you do the clear proof and then the time wise at the same time? You said double click. So is that well, what I know this sounds weird, but I actually, what I do is I do the clear proof before I get in the shower and I let my face rest for a minute. And then I do the time wise in the shower. So, so I do two cleanses and then, um, what I do, I don't do the moisturizers together. I do this, the zit zapper or the spot shot, as I like to call it on my pop-up acne spots. And then, um, what I do is with the moisturizers, I hit the acne prone parts of my face with the clear proof moisturizer and then the other parts of my face. So like for me, my T-zone is big and my chin, I always hit those with the uh, clear proof. And then I hit my cheeks and my neck with the time wise, awesome. especially at night, but even, and in the mornings too. But, awesome. you know, I like to do the time wise in the shower <laughs> I know that's weird, but I just, I, I like to have my face. That it's just part of my routine at night. So I like, that. Uh, awesome. yeah, Jessica, you're not alone because I actually even start, I've been doing that too and putting on the cleanser in the shower at night. So that's yeah. a good idea. 